area with 51. Everything in the butterflies. Go get your man. And I feel like butterfly gonna recap this. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers, that notification gang, ricegangclothing.com for the merchandise. You heard me right, etc., etc. Don't let none of that get too far ahead of your prep, 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 prep. You got to make this hard for the judges. You didn't make it as hard as it needed to be. This is a $100,000 chance. You ain't going to never get this chance again. KCJ versus Prep. A lot of people had KCJ going into the battle. They knew KCJ or felt like KCJ would improve from her last performance. And the thing is, she goes first. She comes out. She has some aggression. I got the do 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 on my last battle. She got the flow together. She sound gritty. She sound grimy. She was in her bag. Like, uh, in her first, she said, uh, I got a couple notes and quotes. Uh, you hit Miss Hustle, you should be used to being six feet under a big, you know what I'm saying? And she said, uh, the young gunner had to bail him out, and she had a scheme at the end of body for body, and then a body more. Like, she was in her bag cooking in her first round. And what's crazy is, it's a female. People said that the females wasn't going to be around long. Yo, she's heading to the final of that bracket to possibly face Geechee Gotti or Swamp again. And KCJ is only getting better, like she's, she's improving. And Prep comes out in his first round and tries to rebuttal. Dog, you trying to rebuttal something that wasn't even crazy from her made you, KCJ is the new Madden curse. I am saying this right now, KCJ is the new Madden curse. I put that in the chat. Of the, of the URL joint when the stream was on and almost a thousand people re agreed with me. I said, KCJ is the new Madden curse. Like, it don't even matter, you know what I'm saying? My, you know, focus, focus, it's time to get focused, it's time to get focused. KCJ is the new Madden curse. Dog, she's literally, like, dude step in front of her and I don't know what happens, but it just don't, it, the money, the Mayweather money look funny in the light. It just don't sit right with these rappers. So, um, she got him. Prep choked. He had a couple bars, drop case because of lack of evidence, but the choke kind of got him out of here. Then KCJ second round. They thinking that was pussy. They mind dirty. Prep comes out his second round. He had some bars looking for case like baggage claim. It was like a lot of the case bars was kind of like, outdated and looking for case like baggage claim dog i'm expecting a whole lot more for 100 bands my G. i'm not gonna hold you um then prep had a uh in her third round how you gonna be gq when you don't respect ebony come with two arms out because you a wife beater in her bag uh then she had prep uh prep had his, his prep's third round was fire i will say that his third round was his best round of the battle. If I give Prep any round of the battle, I give him the third round. But I must say that KCJ, by the time Prep even got in his bag and was wilding like that, KCJ had already done enough to win the battle. Sure, he did enough. Because the choke, like even if the battle's close, the, the thing that people are going to remember is you choking. If Prep gives through all his material, we'll probably be having a different conversation right now. Or he probably would have made the battle closer, but KCJ's material, the way she carried it, she might have even had like a slippity blippity in her second, I think, but it don't matter because Preps was so egregious. And it's like, bro, this is $100,000 on the line, my G. There ain't no way in hell. You can't be slipping. You can't be joking. You can't be choking. You can't be doing none of that. You got to be completely in your bag. And I don't know what you was thinking about, but I'm just going to be honest with you. Uh, KCJ moves on. She's going to be facing one of the winners of the of the bracket. Uh, much respect to her. I hope she continues to do her thing, you know what I'm saying? And, and just for prep, like in the future, you know what I'm saying? You freestyling and stuff like that, that's cool. But you got to be, you got to be in that bag. You can't go out like that. And basically, overall, long story short, my man Prep has probably got to be on Suicide Watch. He had a battle that he had in his hands that he could have really, really set himself apart with. But I, I just feel like even if 
They split the, the second and third round. You choked in the first. It's it's a hundred thousand on the line. You know what I'm saying? Like 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 that. What you want me to tell you, bro? I know I know that you was focused and you wanted to do your thing. But this is more about Casey J. Salute to Casey J. and her come up and doing what she did because I mean for real for real, she was doubted. A lot of people were sleeping on her. And uh, yeah, she answered the call and it is what it is. You got Casey J with a nice win and moving on. And this does a lot for females and female battle rap because you see a female advancing. And, and this is only gonna feed her hunger because I'm sure she's gonna wanna get better. She's gonna wanna do her thing and she's gonna wanna continue to get those wins. Prep you up there rapping about flowers and, and, and scents and I smell death, but that just, that just wasn't it today. I, I'm sorry. I, what can I say? I'm sorry, you're no longer going to be at the party. Showtime SP, take it away. Can I work? Can I work in here? You're not going to let me work? Jeez! I swear, anytime I get a chance to do what I need to do, I always got somebody interrupting me in a minute, big dog. What's good, y'all? It's your boy Showtime SP. There's nobody that knows bodies. Bah! got me feeling all types of ways. I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't understand how I feel. I don't know what I feel, but I feel like this ain't going to be a clear-cut case. I'm not going to say nobody got robbed. I'm not going to feel like anybody got robbed. Everybody got their own opinion. Let me give you mine. KCJ versus Prep. The battle's not that crazy. The battle is not that crazy. Don't, don't, don't shoot me. Don't kill the message. I'm just saying the battle is not that crazy. But I got to give you what went down. First round... Casey went aggression level all the way through the roof. She even had that rasp in her voice like she just got finished arguing with her nigga, but she still got enough time to talk to you. You are the customer service line, so I'm already pissed off. So now I'm on the phone talking to you. You didn't piss me all the way off now. In a minute. Now, you got to look at the fact that Casey J definitely figured out everything she needed to do last week. And she fixed it, and she gave us this battle this week. The preparation, ha, the prep for this battle was way different. That is kind of why I can understand why Casey J definitely won this war. In the war sense, she won. First round, Casey was automatically out the gate on fire. Prep, prep tried to do... He tried to negate what Casey was going to say, and he already had a printout of it. And when he said it, the bar didn't hit, and it kind of just dragged from there. And right after that, when that bar didn't hit, he stumbled. He was bad. And I'm convinced, if it ain't the Bardashians, it's, it's some jazz is in the room, official through the voodoo in the room, or something. Because clearly, Casey got niggas choking. Bad. I'm just, I'm just saying, it's not the first time we've seen this happen. But that first round from Prep, it was bad. It was bad. I already had Prep losing the first round. Second round, Casey slipped up in the second. We're not going, we just going to slide past that? Is, is that what we're going to do? If we're going to do that, then that's fine. I'm not going to say nothing, but I noticed it. And technically, I would kind of, I think Prep had a cleaner second. But niggas is saying Casey got the first and the second round. I'm not mad at that. Overall, the battle itself was good. But that third round, clear. No debating. Prep clearly got that third. But y'all see the decision that was already made. I gotta hurry up because now the next battle is about to start and I gots to get the hell up out of here. Young lady, I need to talk to you.